Hi, today I'm going to show you how to register for your classes. So you go into Infinite Campus and on the left hand side you're going to go over to past um, documents and things and down to more. Uh, you may not have clicked this before but it has several pieces of information on there. Possibly your online verification maybe that you did earlier this year. You need to click on course registration and then you need to click on the 23-24 school year. And then what will be presented in front of you is your classes that have already been chosen for you. These are recommendations from your teachers. And if you'll notice, it'll tell you how many credits they're worth. In this case, Infinite Campus uses the word units. And it'll tell you the percentage of how much of your class that you have finished, have you've, you've scheduled so far. At the bottom, you're going to click Add a Course and you're going to use the paperwork that you just filled out. You can use the number or you can spell out the class and you click on the class once you find it of the of the course that you want. For example, if you want to take NextGen and then when it clicks on that you add add class. You'll notice that the percentage goes up and the units go up for what it's worth. You continue to do this with the rest of your classes. Again, you can add either by number or you can add by spelling out the name of the class and then click add request and then go back. You're going to do this with each class that you want to you want to take. This is going to replace the paperwork that you have in front of you. We're still going to meet with you guys and make sure that it's it, your schedule is correct but this will get those numbers in faster. So you just add each course in, repeating the same process. You look for the class, excuse me, you hit add the request. And then you look for the class either by number or by spelling it. Then you click on that class then you click add the, add the class, add the request. And you keep doing that over and over until that you have 20 out of 20 units. Your home room will count as four of those units. You wanna make sure that you have a math, an English, a science, and a social studies, and the elective classes that you wanna take. You continue to do this over and over until you've exhausted all of the names and numbers of your classes on your sheet. Once you're getting up to where you have all of your units filled, you might decide that you want to take a class that is over the 20 units. And when you click on it, it'll it'll tell you that you can't take that class because you don't have enough units. So then what you need to do is you need to go back up and you either need to delete or change to an alternate that class. So in this case, take debate, make it an alternate. Then you go back to the search, add the class that you want, and then there'll be enough room. The computer program won't let you add more than the, the 20 units. Now the same goes if you wanna delete a class you thought you wanted to take Business 101, but you didn't, so you just click delete.